Hi everybody, Cheryl here. I'm gonna be doing another um, like fitness type video here. This is a review and a little bit of, I guess you'd call chit chat, um, because this is based on um, what I've learned over the last year. Um, I'm gonna be reviewing um, kettlebells. Um, I don't know if any of you have done kettlebells or not, but um, I swear by these things. <laughs> um, before I get into the chit chat, I'm going to try to do the review first because um, the people who are probably watching this video probably aren't my normal people because um, this is, like I say, going to be a review video. And what I'm going to be reviewing is two different kinds of kettlebells. And the first thing I want to say is I am not a professional. I'm not a trainer. Um, I was not asked by these companies to do this review. Um, I paid for these with my own money. Um, well, my husband paid for one set for me for Christmas last year, but the other one I bought with my own money. So this is just something that I want to share and something that I have learned over literally the last year of doing these. So I want to just share uh, my experience and maybe help you guys um, to maybe figure this out too. So I'm going to be reviewing the the Jillian Michaels, I don't know if you can see that. This was a kit. This is a 10 pound and this is a five pound. And um, this came in a in a set together, the five and 10. And then um, I'm also gonna be reviewing it up against the Go Fit Contoured Kettlebell. And big difference here. So, um, first thing, my husband bought me these Jillian Michaels, and I'm going to slide this forward here, um, for Christmas last year, because as a lot of you know, I like to run, and I'm on a weight loss type journey, and, um, I'm, my frame is very, I'm very tall. I'm, I'm five foot nine, and I've got a larger build, my shoulder, my rib cage. Um, I'm built like a, a linebacker, basically. Um, so I can run, I can walk, I can do all that stuff, and, and I struggle to lose the upper body stuff. Um, you know, that'll go with running and stuff, but what I've noticed is when I did the kettlebells, um, the kettlebells actually broke broke that down and it helps me build lean muscle and it works the entire body. Um, I don't do them every day. Um, I wouldn't suggest you do them every day. Again, this is just my opinion. I'm just stating what I do here. So this is just what I've learned over the last year. I feel I've been doing them for a year. Um, I feel I'm a little bit qualified to talk about them and I'm talking about my own personal experiences here. So anyway, um, the Jillian Michaels ones, um, I don't like them. Uh, my, my husband got me these and you know, they were for a gift for Christmas. And the first thing I have to say about them, um, the first thing I didn't like, I'll just say is the design. Now, by the way, these are push up bars too, which honestly, I'm lucky to do a real push up, let alone a push up on these. So they spin if you want to put them on the floor and do push ups on them. So these serve two functions. Um, but I'm going to show you why I didn't like these. Um, the other thing is, is they're filled with sand. And I'm not too fond of the ones filled with sand because they just feel like the weight on them is a little different and when you do the swings and stuff it just doesn't feel right but I'm gonna raise my sleeves here today's kettlebell day so I figured what's a better time to do a kettlebell review than kettlebell day so before I go do my kettlebells I'm gonna do a review so <laughs> and these are all covered in glitter I had a glitter explosion last night so pardon that but you can see the shape of these um, they've got a nice, you know, I, I prefer to have a bigger hole here for the grip. Um, they're made out of a, a, like a hollow metal. 
Um, but this is what I don't like. When you do kettlebells, you swing them. Now, I want you to look at this. See how that hits my arm like that? Right there. And then when I go like this to bend my arm, see how the blue piece hits my wrist? So when I was doing these kettlebells, I was getting massive bruising right here and right here because I was getting hit both ways by when I went to flip up like that. If you can see, the blue piece was hitting me and then of course the kettlebell was banging the crap out of me. And then when I was doing these where you go up and down, it was banging me there real hard. So I'd get bruised here. So I would have both arms, bruises here, bruises here, and bruises here from these kettlebells. So I do not like the design of this kettlebell. Um, and honestly, I'll never use them for push-ups. Never. Never. Even if I was 20 years old, I don't think I would. So what I did was I did some research and I saw that they had the kettlebells that were like a pear shape. I'm sure you've all seen them. And I think my Walmart had them. My, my sporting shop had them. And they were just really, they didn't really bang my wrist here. They didn't hit me too hard here. But they just, I don't know, I just didn't like it. And the more I watched YouTube videos on kettlebell workouts, because these are something that, and I'm going to get into that when I start talking more about them, is you can do them at home. And um, I saw one guy, and I think I got this on Amazon, the Go Fit. Um, this, this one here, it's a 15 pound. I don't know if you can see, it's contoured. And it's... It's got a little bit more space. This is solid. Now, this the difference between this and the sand-filled ones, this is heavy. This is a solid piece here. And I like how it's protected here with the rubber. And so, well, I don't want to do it on that wrist because I have my Fitbit on. But you can see here, it lays nicely on my arm. And when I'm doing this, it, it just, it lays nice. It's not... It's not going to bang. It's contoured. So I like that about this. But when you're going from something like this, which is very chintzy and cheap, first thing I noticed too with these is my hands would sweat really bad on, on I think it was just a type of metal. And I was losing them. They were flinging all over. So if you're going to start doing kettlebells, go to your... Um, I got these on my local Walmart, the weightlifting gloves. You're going to need these, especially if you get this one, because this is a solid piece of metal. And I started getting blisters, right, or calluses, not blisters, calluses right here. So not only did these help me to have a better grip, but they kept me from getting calluses and they have a uh, leather grip here so these are a must if you're going to start doing kettlebells getting these weight gloves and i think these were i don't know these were like maybe seven or eight dollars um so these are a must um pick these up make sure you get the good ones these are the the gold's gym brand they have another brand there at Walmart, and honestly, those look like they'd fall apart. These are nice. I figure eight bucks is not bad. They, they're leather. Um, so get those. But um, that's my review on these. So as far as the Jillian Michaels ones go, they're okay for starting out, but you know, you're going to probably run into the same problem as I did where I was getting bruised up and banged up and they were slipping and sliding and I just, I hated them. Um, now, if you're going to start doing kettlebells, start light, start at five pounds. Um, I'm going to put a link down below in the description where I bought this. Um, the contoured one, the Jillian Michael one. I'm not sure. I think my husband got that on Amazon too. Um, honestly, I think he paid 
three times what I normally would pay for a kettlebell for these. It was, I think they were like 80 bucks. I don't know if they're still that expensive, but I about went nuts when I heard what he paid for these because I said, you could have got me a whole bunch of shit for that. I'm sorry, didn't mean to say shit. <laughs> you could have got me a whole bunch of really cool stuff for 80 bucks. Um, I think this one, and, and of course, the heavier they are, the more expensive they are. I think I paid $28, I want to say, shipped on Amazon with this one. And they come in all different weights. Um, and I, like I said, you need to start light, start with five pounds, um, and then gradually go up like to 10 pounds. I'm on 15 pounds. I'm going to probably, after the first of the year, pick up a 20 pound one. Um, and I don't think I'm going to go beyond 20 pounds. I think, in fact, they suggest a woman should stay at 20 pounds or not go past 20 pounds. Because what I use the kettlebells for, and you can use kettlebells for many different things. But um, I'm going to also put a link down below for um, a trainer that I watch um, on YouTube. Um, <laughs> His name is Troy Von Sponge, and I think I'm saying his name properly. Um, he's at Australia. He runs a boot camp. Um, he doesn't know I'm doing this video, so I'm going to have to send him an email. Um, but he's been awesome. So he has several different kettlebell videos up. And the reason I like Troy Von Sponge is because I've watched several other people do kettlebells. I've watched the women. I've watched the men. In fact, the guy who I believe made this one, I've watched some of his videos. And the difference between Troy's videos and these other videos are Troy gets in there. He starts with the routine, and it's supposed to be 40 minutes, but in reality, it's... 38 minutes or 36 minutes. I don't know, but it's a continuous, do not put the kettlebell down, uh, cardio, full body workout. And he's got several of them up. Uh, I'll put the link to my favorite three. Um, there's a beginning one. Then there's kettlebell 2.0, which he made for me. Thank you, Troy. I love that one. Um, and then he has uh, one where it's mostly abdominal he does outside. So I will link those three videos down below because, you know, honestly, I didn't want, I'm cheap. I didn't want to go and have a gym membership. Um, I wanted to do my stuff at home. And um, so I did kettlebells and I did my treadmill and stuff like that. So that's typically what I do. Um, but yeah, what I was saying about his videos are, you know, he gets into it. He does his quick little um, I don't know, 20 second intro, which gives you enough time to get yourself situated, your water ready, your gloves on, you're, you're going. And then, and then he gets, he moves and it's just a constant thing. And he works on what he calls grip strength, which is incredibly important when you're swinging a kettlebell. And that's the exercise where you go around your waist with it. And um, that was really important that I did the grip strength um, and, and got the grip strength because my grip strength sucked in the beginning. So, <laughs> um, but, you know, like I said, uh, my, my good friend and partner with Unique Nail Creations, Raquel, she also swears by Troy's routines. We both have um, watched many other people and, you know, nothing wrong with those other people. It's just what they do is they'll stop and pause and talk and it's like gosh I just got my heart rate up now it's back down and you're gonna tell a story and I don't want to hear the story they'll have an hour-long video and by the time you're done you've only done about 15 minutes worth of something anything so um, again you know you can watch or do who you want but I'm gonna go ahead and link his my top three favorite videos that he does in the description because honestly, he just gets right down to it. And go at your own pace. That's the thing I learned too when I first started. Um, don't try to keep up with him, especially if you're just starting. I tried to keep up with him and I almost killed myself and that was with five pound weight. So <laughs> just, you can pause it, you can do whatever. And the other thing I love about these kettlebells is, you know, they're portable. Um, whenever I was traveling, I wouldn't try traveling with it on your carry-on luggage or if you're going on an airplane because they are heavy and I know like Delta now charges a 
buttload per pound now. But I mean, like, for instance, uh, if you're traveling to your mom's house or your grandma's house or a friend's house for the weekend, you can stick this in your car. You got Troy's video and you can do it in your bedroom, in the bathroom, in the backyard, anywhere. You just do it and it's free. It doesn't cost anything um, to do this. You don't have to join a gym. And like I said in the beginning, um, my body type is very <laughs> difficult um, because being as tall as I am and just being, I'm, I'm, I've got broad shoulders, broad um, hips and rib cage. Um, so it's, I tend to pack on the weight in my upper body. And that was always the hardest weight for me to lose. I would go to the gym, I would ride the bike, I would run, I would walk, I would do lifting, just the free weights. Um, I tried the, what do you call that thing? The, um, yeah, my brain is done. The um, elliptical. I tried all that stuff. And yeah, I lost weight, but not a lot. As soon as I started doing the cowbells, not only did I see the weight start going down, but I saw my body start changing. And it was changing in a good way. I was getting a nice shape to me. And I was getting tone and getting nice, you know, muscle tone. And um, and it, I, I could tell when I don't do them. And I haven't done them for a while. Um, I started doing them again. And just in the short period of time that I stopped doing them, I noticed like my winter jacket I went to put on, I was like, uh-oh, it's tight in the shoulders. And within two weeks of me doing the kettlebells, it's loose again and it just hangs on me. So um, thank God for muscle memory because uh, the weight I gained, I am losing again. <laughs> so... Um, but anyway, so I hope that this has been helpful for you guys. I know, um, you know, it's it's difficult when you're out there trying to lose weight and trying to get in shape. And, um, you know, I, I was trying to find something that was cheap because I did not want to go spend a lot of money on a gym. I really didn't. I didn't want to have to drive to a gym. I wanted to lose weight. I wanted to get in shape. I wanted to get healthy. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money doing it. And so... I guess with all that to say, I've lost twice as much doing this. I mean, yeah, I'm probably going to end up back in the gym because I do have that compartment syndrome and I'm still struggling with the decision of doing the surgery. I'm going to probably do it now that I've read up on it more and I've learned that I could lose my legs, um, which I don't want to have my legs amputated because I'm stubborn. So um, I'm going to actually call my doctor and try to schedule that so but I'm gonna wait till after the first of the year so um, until I get back to my normal running routine I probably will join the gym just because of that you know because I do have compartment syndrome in both legs and I can't run and I'm learning over the last couple weeks running that I can't run it just just hurts too damn much and my bones hurt <laughs> so uh, my shins hurt it hurts it just hurts. So anyway, um, if you guys have any questions, just, you know, let me know again. Like I said, I'm going to put the link to the contoured kettlebell, um, down below in the description. I can't do it for the Jillian Michaels because I don't know exactly where he got them. I think he got them on Amazon. I'm not sure. Um, again, start with a five pound one. The five pound ones don't cost that much. Um, I think, like I said, mine was close to 30 bucks, 28, 26, something like that. Um, of course, the heavier they are, the more they, they cost. Um, and then the, the gloves, you're going to definitely need these so you don't get the calluses here. Um, I got these at my local Walmart. You can get them almost anywhere at your sports shops. Um, so um, anyway, I guess... That's pretty much it. I mean, I just wanted to touch base and do a review. So my review is Jillian Michaels. You need to redo these. You need to rethink this. This sucks. Look at that. It is cutting me there and it's cutting me there. It hurts. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to use these for push-ups. I needed them for kettlebells. Thumbs down on the Jillian Michaels. I don't, my opinion again. 
the, I got to keep looking at because my brain, <laughs> the Go Fit, I'm giving it a thumbs up. I like how it's contoured. I like how it doesn't bruise me in three different spots. <laughs> it's a good, solid kettlebell. So that is my personal opinion. I've been doing these for a year and this is my opinion. So again, I hope this was helpful. I need to get to my kettlebells. I'm going to go pull up Troy's video and I'm still scared to do your abdominal video. If you're watching Troy, that one still scares me. Um, it's, uh, I don't know what you call that one. It's, uh, the one where he's laying in the grass outside and he does all kinds of weird shit outside. <laughs> Ow. I think what kills me is it's 90 second and two minute intervals. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Not to mention I've had three C-sections and I'm still trying to get that abdominal stuff. Yeah. Back to <laughs> where it should be. Um, so I'm working at it. I am trying, but the 2.0 was nice. I'm glad that he did do the 2.0 because he added some extra routines in there for the abdominal area. I'm just not that strong yet with my abs. Um, actually, I've been cut four times because I had a hysterectomy too, and they sliced me in the same spot as I had my three C-sections. So it's been difficult with trying to get you know the abdominal muscles worked back up. But I'm getting there. I think I'm getting there. But um, anyway, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to get this uploaded. And um, I know if any of you, by the way, quick thing, my nail ladies are watching. I have absolutely no problems doing kettlebells with my nails with this length. I've never lost one. I've never chipped one. I've never banged one. I don't have issues with it. So... I don't know though, I don't know how long your nails are. These are how long mine are, but I've never had an issue. So that's for my nail ladies who are interested in starting kettlebells. Yeah, never had an issue with doing it with my nails on. Um, in fact, I think I've had them a little longer than this and I didn't have a problem. Um, that's where grip strength comes in. So again, thank you for watching. I'm gonna get my kettlebells. It's icky, yucky, rainy, snowy day still, so I can't get outside, but whatever. I'm going to get busy. So thanks for watching. I love you guys. Um, see you in my next one.